here uh, now with, uh, with the Premier of Bermuda, Honorable David Burke. And we want to talk a little bit and to understand more about this transformation and how Bermuda government uh, is handling transformation. So first, thank you very much for uh, giving us your, your time to share this at Collision. So the first question I have to you, Premier, is how digital and technology is transforming Bermuda? Well, I would say from the perspective, we are an international financial services jurisdiction, so Bermuda is known for being an expert in financial services and financial services regulation. And as we are looking at the transition of what's to come in financial services, the disruption and disintermediation that is going to come from digital assets and the future tokenized economy, Bermuda wants to certainly play its part. Insofar as digital transformation locally, we haven't seen that much yet. But what we want is to make sure that companies can use Bermuda as that ground to test out innovations. We're 20 square miles, 65,000 people, but inside of that 20 square miles and 65,000 people is the entire infrastructure of a country which may have 300 billion people or a country like Canada. The fact is we have airports, we have seaports, we have hospitals, we have education systems, we have healthcare systems, we have all of those type of items which are ripe for technological innovation at a very small scale so persons can understand what works, what doesn't work, and then can take that intellectual property and scale it up uh, to the rest of the world. So that's the play, place oh, okay. where Bermuda feels I uh, can play uh, best. I think that's the area where we're trying to position ourselves inside of the future of technology and expand our footprint. You know, pioneering insurance solutions for the world from Bermuda. And now we're looking to expand that uh, innovation to other areas where people can come to Bermuda, can out their past proof concept stage they want to actually demonstrate how it can work in a national economy with great infrastructure so they can scale those products and services to the rest of the world and it's very difficult nowadays because you have regulators that may not understand how this technology works how you can actually regulate technology for the future and in Bermuda we're fortunate enough to have a financial services regulator that gets it so we've done it for insurance and now we're doing it for digital assets and the future tokenized economy yeah, it, this is, is wonderful. And I have a question that I ask all political leaders. How the government of Bermuda mm -hmm. gets things really done and moving from ideas to, to results? Well, there's two things that make it easier. The first thing is that we have a very large majority in Parliament, so we hold two-thirds okay. of the seats there. Um, and we had won a landslide election about two years ago, so it's easy to put things in place. But also, you have to recognize your destination and understand these are the things in which you want to focus on. So in November 2017, we had set up our task force uh, for digital assets. And by the time we were in April and May, we had already passed bills and started setting up uh, the regulations in place to govern those. And so there were some companies inside the space which said Bermuda functions as fast as a startup but that's what you have to be if it's if innovation is in our DNA so we understand how to make these things work and so that's the reason why we're able to move things very quickly so you have to set out what the target is you have to have a government that is fully committed to that target leadership which says that this is what we're going to focus on and make sure you deliver it but also to ensure that your scope does not creep Fortunately for me, I have a background in technology. Uh, so technology was what I was doing full-time before I went into politics full-time. So uh, Bermuda, I guess, has a leader that gets and understands technology. And that's some of the reasons why we're able to push things forward. So I mean, we're going to be doing things on open data, exposing government uh, uh, information and private sector information that should be in the public domain to make sure that we can build things that more efficiently, can make uh, apps work, and we can go into the whole new level of distributed apps. And we want Bermuda to be that training and testing round where people can feel they can come bring their intellectual property get it right and scale it up for the rest of the world yeah that that's that's wonderful and I have my uh, final question mm -hmm. during this transformation how do you make sure that nobody is left behind well it, from the Bermuda perspective it's a challenge uh, but you have to have that inside of your ethos and the very uh, vision of the future decentralized economy and the tokenized economy is to return power uh, back to individuals and citizens and from a government um, it's a very tricky concept to try to be comfortable with but what I want to do is to make sure that my citizens have a better quality of life I want to make sure that my citizens have our lower cost of living and technological transformations can 
certainly aid and assist in that. And so from that perspective, if you are focused on making sure that technology works for the citizens of whom you govern, then you will ensure that the outcomes match them. And we are also at the same point in time investing heavily in education. When I came into office, not all of our schools had Wi-Fi. When I came into office, we didn't have STEM education in our primary schools. Now we have STEM education at primary schools. Now all of our schools have Wi-Fi. We provided um, education grants to make sure that anyone who wants to get a tertiary education has the ability to get that tertiary education. So that is the way that you have people that are not left behind. You have to put your money where your mouth is, but also for the companies that are coming in, you make them take on persons, you make them train persons, you make them say, we want our citizens to play a part of this revolution so they can not only be workers inside the economy, but they can also get the innovation spirit as well and come up with their own innovations to power the future. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you very much. Very inspiring. Mm -hmm. And thank you. And I wish all the best for you on the conference and to the people of Bermuda. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very thank much, you. Ricardo. Thank you. Okay.